once you get your username and password in the email that you receive uh, through from Kaseya IT Center, you'll just go ahead and log in with your username and password. So I'm just going to log in with a test account that I have to show you how this all works. Uh, once you log in, it's going to require you to change your password. I've already done that, so you can just go ahead and go through that step, and then it's going to take you to this screen that you're about to see in a second here. Oh, actually, it's probably going to take you to your profile page. All right, so once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click up on System or whatever is in this box, and you're going to go down to Agent, and then you're going to go to Deploy Agents. Once you're here, uh, what we're going to do for now is we're just going to if you if you intend to quickly transition your agents over, then uh, you can grab the workstation installation. If you're not intending to do a quick switch and you want to kind of get your agents you know set up carefully in in uh, Kaseya IT Center, then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the audit agent because the audit agent doesn't actually perform any actions on the computers uh, it just scans and the reason why we would start with the audit agent is because then we don't have two agents fighting for control of your clients computers because right now at this point you still have the original Kaseya version 5 agent installed so we're just gonna go ahead and tick the box to set this as the default package and then we're gonna go ahead and click up here where it says users can download agents from we're gonna click so so you check this circle and then you click up here and it's going to open up a new download in just a sec there it is so we'll just click that windows audit agent alrighty so you'll just download this file kcssetup.exe we're going to save that Alright, so you can see that uh, it saved it to my hard drive. And uh, that's the first step.